Hi, this is Trisha from bloggerway.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tailwind Create. Tailwind first started out as a Pinterest scheduler and now it has grown to do so much more. With Tailwind Create, you can easily create social media graphics for Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest directly within Tailwind using their professionally designed templates. If you have never used Tailwind before, you can try them out with their forever free plan. With this plan, you can connect one Pinterest account and one Instagram account. In the description below, I will leave a link so you can check out their free plan. Before we get started, I am an affiliate for Tailwind and I was compensated for creating this video. Once you are inside the Tailwind dashboard, you're going to go to uh, the left hand side here and click on Tailwind Create. If you are using Tailwind Create for the first time, you will be immediately directed to uh, set your brand preferences. In this case, we will go to uh, Brand Settings. This is where you can uh, customize your brand information, what fonts you'd like to use, and your colors, and even add your logo. So here under brand information, go ahead and type out your website or brand name. And then you have the option to uh, select a title font and a subtitle font. When you click on the arrow here, you can search uh, for fonts by name if you already have a branded font that you'd like to use on your designs. Or you can scroll down through the list and uh, select a font that you um, like here. And then what you'll notice is here it says upload custom fonts and this is a feature that you can do uh, with one of the uh, paid plans um, in Tailwind here. So uh, for this um, tutorial I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Open Sans. And then uh, you can do the same for the subtitle font. What you'll notice here is um, you can try a, a font pairing that Tailwind has already created. Uh, select the drop down there and then you can just kind of scroll through and see if there's any uh, particular font pairings that um, stick out to you. So in this case if I look for Open Sans I can see that there's various ones that um, pair well with Open Sans. So let's go ahead and use this um, Brie Serif and Open Sans here. And then the next step is to choose your color. So um, you can just click on a circle here. You have the um, option to enter in the hex code. You have the RGB values, or you can select here in the um, using the color picker here. And then if you scroll down, you can also see um, some suggested palettes here that uh, Tailwind has offered you as well. So exiting out of that. And then the final step is to add your logo. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this step, but that is also available to you as well. So we'll go ahead and click on Save and Continue. Once you're ready to begin, just go ahead and click on Start Creating. Uh, the next step is to add your destination link. So I'll go ahead and uh, paste that in here for my post on how to set goals for your block. And then what you'll notice is that uh, Tailwind will take that uh, URL and then it will kind of pre-populate the title and uh, the various photos that you have for that post. And so here under title, you can uh, make any changes. In this case, I'm gonna get rid of um, the extra branding here at the end. And then you have the option to um, upload a photo and they do give this recommendation here to use a minimum of 600 pixels by 600 pixels. And then uh, what you notice when you scroll down here is you um, can choose from the various uh, photos on your uh, site or you can click on stock photos here and you can so search through Tailwind stock photos here. So in this case, I'm just going to uh, search for a uh, computer desk. Looking at the photos, you'll notice that uh, some of them are free to use and then there are some that have this star which indicates that you would need a one of the uh, paid plans to uh, use this photo. And then once you find an image that you can like, you just can, can go ahead and select it there. I'm going to choose that one and then I'm going to choose uh, this one as well. And then this one here, and then we'll go ahead and move on to create images. So this is your design gallery. The first thing that I recommend is going under design settings here. 
You'll notice a section for photos. This is where you can, if you would like to upload additional photos, you can. And then it basically gives you the same options of site photos, or you can click to as search for stock photos here. The next section is the text. Here you can see your initial title text, the font, and then this is where you can add a subtitle. When you go and click on add text, you can see that you can add a subtitle or you can add a call to action. In this case, we'll go ahead and add a subtitle and then we will say beginner's guide. So the next section is the color palettes. Uh, from here, you can go ahead and select a different color palette if you'd like. You can scroll through uh, the different options here. And then under branding, you can select if you want your uh, website to be displayed on the, um, the image or you can select no bra branding. If you've added a logo, you have the option to select logo here. Uh, next, looking at the design gallery, you'll notice at the top here you have post types, photo count, and categories. Under post types, you can select between feed posts, stories, Pinterest pins, and Facebook feed posts. And then under a photo count, you can uh, dictate whether you want multiple photos, one photo, or no photo, or any numbers of photos. In this case, we're going to go ahead and select one photo. And then under category, you can um, select uh, the content. Is it uh, product post, blog post, how to, if you look at promotion, um, industry, style, there's uh, definitely different kind of categories you can choose from here. So in this case, I'm going to go to content and blog post. And then you can scroll through Tailwind's uh, professionally designed templates here and then just to see if there's one that um, sticks out to you that you like uh, here. Once you have found a design that you like, you can hover over it and you can click the heart to favorite the design and you'll notice that it will be added to your favorites here. You have the option to uh, restyle your design. So when you click on the drop down arrow here, you can, if you click on colors, it will kind of change um, out the different colors here based on your um, chosen uh, color palette here. You can choose to uh, change out the photo from the ones that you had selected. And then um, with the photos, you can click directly on uh, that image to uh, move it around if you'd like. And you can even um, scroll in, scroll out for that as well. So we'll go ahead and change the photo here. Um, we'll leave it to that one. And then you even have the option to um, just kind of change the overall uh, layout here. Just cycle it through and it will kind of change uh, the way it is laid out on uh, the graphic here. So those are kind of uh, neat little features. Um, to restyle it there. And then if you actually want to um, make more edits or changes to it, you'll go ahead and click on edit. In the element section, you can add some basic shapes to your design. So in this case, if we add a arrow here, you'll see it appear on this screen here. And then it's just a, a drag and drop editor. You can rotate it, resize it, um, and then you'll notice uh, the different options here in the side. You can change uh, the color out so we can make it white here. And then you can uh, even change the um, opacity down, um, bring it back up here. And then there's even kind of a layer section here if you want it to uh, be move forward or backwards. And then you can uh, duplicate a element or delete it there. Um, in this case, um, I kind of like the design how it is. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that uh, additional element there. Um, here on the side, you can see uh, your text options. You can add a title text, subtitle text, call the action text. Uh, with the text here, you can click on it. And then in the editor panel here, you have the same option to uh, change the opacity. You can adjust your font. You can change the color. Um, op, bold, italicize, underline. You can select the type of um, whether it's centered or less justified, and then you can 
bring up the size or lower it down there. And then you can choose to add a shadow if you want it to um, stand out a little bit there. And then um, you can select the line height and uh, change the letter spacing on it as well. And then finally, under the photo section, you will uh, see the same settings we've had before where you can upload photos, select from your site, or choose stock photos. So um, Tell One Create makes it really easy to uh, customize the designs to your needs. And then the next step would just be to uh, save that and go back. Once you have created a design that you like, you can choose to uh, select it and then you can review your selection here. And then what's really nice is um, clicking on this arrow here, you will now see um, coordinating designs for a story post, a Pinterest pin, and a Facebook post here. So this is where um, Tailwind Create really saves you time is Instantaneously, you have um, a graphic created for each of these different platforms using the same design. This is an awesome tell and create feature. You now have content that you can share to your Instagram stories, to Pinterest, and to Facebook. In this window, you also have the option to restyle your images. If you scroll to the right here, you will look and see apply to, in this case it says all, but you can select, um, maybe I wanna change out my Instagram stories here, and then I can select a, maybe I'm gonna change up the color, make that one a little bit different, and then you can change, um, try something for different for the Pinterest pins, maybe we use a different photo, and then looking at our Facebook, uh, posts here. Maybe I change the layout a little bit, um, select a different color. Let's do the green one for that one as well. This um, just makes it really easy to uh, change up the designs, uh, change up the color schemes quickly and easily. And then once you have uh, images and graphics that you like, you can um, you can select them, add them to your um, selections here and what you'll notice that um, each one of these images will add to your total count so uh, for this demonstration I am just using the uh, free plan which allows for uh, 15 um, image creations per month um, but if you'd like to do more you would need to um, upgrade to one of the plus plans at the time of recording this video, um, Tellwin does not have the capability of scheduling out Facebook posts, but that is a feature that will be coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the feed post for Facebook. And then uh, from here, once you've selected your uh, graphics that you'd want to use, you can go ahead and click on go to schedule. Your image will be automatically saved to drafts and you can go ahead and schedule out your Instagram post, your Instagram story, and your Pinterest pin. Thank you for watching this video on how to use Tell and Create. If you are new to Tellwin, definitely give Tell and Create a try. In the description below, I will leave a link where you can sign up for their free plan. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from BlockerWay.com. See you next time.